shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I'm the Cyber Crew. Thank you for watching. So I was recently out traveling and I had lunch at this lovely little wine and um, beer shop. And at the shop, they actually had this uh, lamp. They actually had a wall full of lamps on the second floor uh, that the lamp was kind of tall and twisted with some ribs and then these two little bands in the middle. And so as I was sitting there uh, eating lunch, I was like, hey, you know, wouldn't that be nice to kind of make a model of that and, and potentially print one? So I came back and started uh, playing around with Fusion 360 and came up with the design that I'm about to show you. So the process took me a while to kind of get nailed down to make it to get in a situation where I felt comfortable with it and, and, and make it relatively easy. But you'll see from the upcoming video here that uh, it, it's, it's quite easy to do. Uh, the, the Creating the vase part and the twist uh, wasn't uh, nearly as challenging necessarily as turning it into a solid body um, and, and creating a situation where I could actually, uh, you know, piece all the parts together. But uh, anyway, uh, we're going to cut over to uh, Fusion here and I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, so here we are in Fusion. Uh, we're gonna first start by changing the document units to millimeters. I always forget to do this step, I have to start over. Uh, we're gonna create a sketch on the XYZ platform, on the X, uh, X, X plane. There you go. Start with a polygon, circumscribed polygon here, and we're gonna bring it out 50 millimeters uh, there and then we will redo that and bring out another one 50 millimeters as well and you can see what we have here is two uh, polygons and create this kind of a ribbed effect and we're gonna run with that uh, you could trim it if you wanted to but I found that it actually works better if you don't uh, so next we want to go into create a form in the sculpt environment we are going to extrude uh, start by selecting the sides here and I have noticed the new version of Fusion uh, defaults uh, sometimes to automatically completing things here. I haven't figured out what the magic is. Uh, so there you go. When you see when you select the center here, uh, it actually eliminates some of the, the area that was in there and you get kind of this star pattern here. Uh, so we definitely want uh, 150 millimeters high, which is uh, the default. It seems to be saving that in the latest version here. So. Uh, so that is our basic form right there that we're going to create and we're going to twist. So now next you just hit edit form. Uh, you want to select one of these segments here, double click. It should select the entire um, uh, top chain. If it doesn't then you uh, just need to either select each, each one individually or do a, a group select. Uh, we'll click on top here and then we are going to rotate this guy by 90 degrees. That gives us a nice twist that we're looking for and kind of sucks in the middle a little bit which is also the effect that we're looking for um, so that's all we're going to do here in the form so now we're going to click uh, finish form and then we have our kind of uh, you'll see here our uh, whatever this is body uh, mesh body uh, next we're going to go into patch uh, here and then uh, say that we want to create a, um, I guess it's just a patch, create, I guess it is, this guy here. Um, we want to select the bottom, which will close the bottom right there, and then select the top, uh, and OK, repeat patch, select the top, there you go, now you have the bottom and the top are closed. It's still a, um, it's still a mesh, it's a single uh, width it's extrusion there, but um, this is uh, kind of closes the top and bottom. This is by far the easiest way I've found uh, to do this. Uh, so next, uh, that creates our three bodies here. Next, what we want to do is we want to uh, stitch uh, these three bodies together. Uh, I leave all the default settings here, everything seems to work fine. And then you'll notice what it does, it has created a solid body out of those three um, individual mesh bodies. We can go back into the modeling here um, and then next we want to create a torus. Whoops. No, actually next we want to create some uh, offset planes. So we'll turn the origin on. 
create an offset plane here. Uh, we want to go, it's 150 millimeters divided by 2 minus 5. And then we want to create another offset plane, uh, uh, construction offset plane from 150 divided by 2 plus 5. And I'll explain just in a moment what uh, why we're doing that. So we're going to turn the body off. We're going to turn the bottom construction plane off and we are going to turn the origin off. Next we want to create our torus. Uh, we're going to select this plane. We are going to select the middle. Uh, for right now we're just going to click. And this is where we want to set the inner diameter to. Uh, I believe 82 will work. We'll check in just a minute. Uh, and we want this to be 10. So the reason we select minus 5 in the previous operation is because we want the diameter to be 10 millimeters and the offset plane is 5 millimeters below the center point. So that will allow, um, with a 10 millimeter diameter, that will allow 5 above and 5 below on both of them. And so they will touch just barely. And so we will turn the body back on. You'll see it defaults here to cut, uh, which in this case we actually want to make it a join but i would do want to inspect the cut here to make sure uh see it seems to be cutting a little bit too much in so maybe 85. No, you can see here where it is uh not quite touching so 83 will be just quite enough so there you go and then we'll change this to a join there you go Perfect, there's the first ring. And then the second ring we will redo exactly the same way by selecting the bottom plane here. Uh, repeat the torus, we'll select this. Uh, we want A3, right, A3. Okay, we want to make this 10. Turn the body back on, turn it into a join. And there you go, now you have your a twisted body with the um, rings in the center. So one thing I forgot to do, which I should have done in advance, was uh, I wanted to fillet these guys. So we hit F for fillet. Uh, what I did is I rolled the history marker back before the planes. We hit F for fillet, and I just want to round these points out a little bit. Uh, they just look better when you round them. And it gets kind of crazy here as you're selecting them because they can start uh, crossing each other and it can be a little confusing. So just look for the, the highest ridge that's black until you come across all of them that are blue there. And I believe five. Let's go with three. So that looks uh, pretty good right there. Okay, now we will, know, we will go back and we have our single body with a rib in the middle and now uh, we can really do anything we want uh, with it put the hole through the center for the lamp uh, or create the top tier which we will do real quick uh, for the one that I actually saw so we'll select them this guy uh, we will start with C for a center line circle and <clears throat> I'm not going to dimension them right now I'm just going to create a bunch of concentric circles and then I will show you how I'm going to dimension them in a bit. I just didn't want to do that. There we go. I don't want that to snap on this. Okay. So the first thing we'll do is we'll dimension the outer circle here at 90 millimeters. And then this guy. I don't know why that was there. Okay. Now we will dimension this guy. We will dimension it at 90 minus 15. And then dimension this guy at that dimension. Now let's go on. Dimension that minus 15. And then this guy will be that one minus 15. So you can see they're all 15 millimeters in width. So we'll stop the sketch. We will now do click E for extrude. We'll bring this guy up 20 millimeters. We will turn our sketch back on. We will extrude. Oops, didn't want to do that. We will click this guy. Extrude 15 millimeters. We 
extrude 10 millimeters, eight extrude five millimeters. Now we have the top tier that I saw on the lamp and there you go. And that's kind of it. It's that straightforward. So using a combination of the model workspace uh, with, the, with the mesh editor and then the stitching is by far the fastest way I've ever seen to get this done. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. Uh, you can see it was relatively straightforward. Uh, make a couple of sketches, tie the sketches together, and then extrude it and do the twisting and add the parts together. And uh, it's pretty, pretty much, that's about it. Uh, you can use this design not only to make a lamp like I did, uh, but also to make the twisty vases, uh, the two vases that kind of twist together. Uh, that's one other uh, mechanism you can do there. But um, I hope you liked the video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you do. As always, if you don't like the video, appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Leave any questions or comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, everyone.